retro gaming one hard drive with a ton of stuff on it preloaded pre-configured ready for you to game playing some super mario kart wii here not gonna let wario take this away from me come on to the line wario me and you that's right got him anyways there's two little external hard drives here and these little tape cassette like enclosures those are just enclosures inside is a hard drive one is a 500 gigabyte and one is a two terabyte you're going to save a ton of money buying the 500 gigabyte, but you're not going to get nearly as many newer systems like PlayStation 2, uh, etc. Uh, but you're going to save some money. So in this video, I'm going to put them both in one video. We're going to check out both the 500 gigabyte and the 2 terabyte drive fully loaded going on Amazon. So some of you just go on Amazon and buy. It's pretty ridiculous if you ask me. And um, there's some pros and cons to it for sure. But uh, you can see here, I have it plugged into my computer. All right, let's go hit some. And uh, you can play all kinds of games from PlayStation 2 down to Atari, uh, all the Nintendo systems from GameCube, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, all the Pokemon games, all the Zelda games, all the Mario games, you name it. It's all on here. And uh, I'm going to be shooting the video like this because it is uh, running on Battlesera Linux. So what that means is you have to boot your computer off of Battlesera Linux. So you actually don't even need an operating system on your computer. You just hook this USB into your computer and you launch the whole entire computer off of the hard drive. So I'll show you how to do that here. I'm going to turn off my computer really quick here. I have the hard drive plugged into my USB uh, connection and the hard drives then on the computer. And then I'm going to boot my computer and I place delete on my keyboard because I have an HP computer, but figure out how to get to either your boot order or to your BIOS. And then in my BIOS here on the right side, you can see the boot order. And I'm just going to go ahead and prioritize, say, please boot off the USB hard drive first. And that way, when I when I save this, it'll go ahead and boot up off the hard drive. And then it's just going to go straight into these big builds filled with games that you're going to see in just a moment. With these huge menu systems, you know, many, many systems, many, many games. You're just rocking and rolling. So we're going to start the video out um, with... Um, the 200, the two terabyte, and then later there'll be the 500 gigabyte. I'll put, I'll probably put timestamps if you want to fast forward to each build, but uh, all that information will be there. I'll also try to post a game list if you want to see the exact games in the description of the video as well. All right, so here's the two terabyte build at 52,245 games. It's probably closer to around 40, 50,000. You'll see there's gonna be some different games and things. Uh, hopefully I'll post a game list in the description of the video. I'm sure there's one. Uh, starting in arcade games, you got MAME, 2000 games, Final Burn Neo, more name, name game, MAME games, about 100. You got Atari, 2600, you got about all of them. You got all your Ataris, even Jaguar, you have 64 games. Wonder Swan, Coleco, Commodore 64, Amiga, some of these old school CD games. We're going to kind of go through there pretty quickly. MS DOS, you know, a lot of people actually ask for these games, but this is not good. These are just the shareware version. So I'm going to say no MS DOS games. Windows games is just Plant vs. Zombies. Xbox is just Jet Radio Future. So if you want those games, if you want more Xbox, Xbox 360, go for a 5 terabyte or a 12 terabyte build that are out there. I've done lots of videos on that. And uh, this is more old school games, but uh, they run really well. Uh, as far as the Nintendo systems, you got everything from NES. You basically have the entire collection plus hacks and homebrews at over 8,000, what is it, 18,000 games or 1,800 games. You have a ton of stuff. So Game Boy, all of them, Super Nintendo, all of them. Uh, the Super Nintendo is actually funny because that's the one system that tends to be like really well sorted out where they have every single game. They have no like Japanese games in there. They have the artwork is consistent. I find that you know they're who, the Super Nintendo. Whoever is archiving the Super Nintendo ROMs is doing a great job. Um, MSU One, you have um, thirteen games. These are uh, games with uh, better soundtracks. You know I've never beaten Donkey Kong Three. I've done two and one. I've never done two a hundred percent. I'd like to. I did one one hundred percent. And then three, I'd like to do. Because there's actually in three, I haven't finished some of the levels. So I think that would be a lot of fun. And I'd probably play it on the MSU just to enjoy the, the sound there. But um, And then Super Mario RPG, they just remade this game, right? Great, 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 great game. Okay, oops, accidentally loaded that game. So what we're going to get into is they do have Nintendo. I'm going to start select out. And then what they do have is they have... Um, Super Game Boys, Teleview, Virtual Boy, N64, all the games, Game Boy Color, all the games. 
Just six before DD, some prototype games. And then, uh, whoa, I, I went way too far there. Uh, Nintendo game, uh, GameCube, 232. So this is where the two terabytes really kicking in. Wow, that's like the first video snap we've, we've seen all day. Oh, so there's video snaps on certain systems. It's good to see where you get a little video file there. Game Boy Advance, oh, wow, 2700. You just got a mess in there. We got all of them. Pokemon Mini, you got those. Nintendo DS, 3000. Oh my god, that's a mess in there as well. You're going to have all your Pokemon games. We're also going to have a ton of Japanese games, all kinds of stuff. Wii, only 20 games. I played some Super Mario Kart Wii. Great, great game. Um, these all work. Uh, the one fix I had to do here was actually, if you hit select on your controller, go to advanced game settings. Uh, I think, oh, sorry. Uh, nope, hit select, go to advanced game systems, go to emulator. I found more, the Dolphin worked better. It was set on Libretro Dolphin. I, I set it to Dolphin at work. Depending on the game you're going to play, check that out. Um, as far as um, the game you're going to play, you might want to check this out here. Which or change this, which is at customize Wii, Wii Mote and Gamepad. Click that, and then make sure you have it on the right controller, depending on what game you're going to be playing. So I'm on an Xbox 360 controller, but as long as I click one of these, I can make sure I'm able to play the game, or at least as best as I can, right? Um, so look at that, Super Mario All Stars 25th Anniversary Edition, nice. So just a few Wii games. Nintendo 3DS 465. Now this is pretty ridiculous. Um, you know, I'm not going to go through every game, but that's a big collection there. 3DO, 138, most of them. Lutro, 9. Uh, we got some Open Boar, Prince of Persia games, Atomus Wave. So, this does have the Atomus games on, Atomus Wave games on it. Uh, Dolphin Blue is one of my favorites. Let's scroll up there. It's going to have all those games for you. And then Sega, all the Sega games. It's going to have them all. Dream, between Dreamcast and Naomi, you got about 350 games there. ZX and Clear, some more arcade games in the Neo Geo, and then Neo Geo Pocket, Pocket Color. PlayStation, 1,540. Um, with this being only a two terabyte, you know, not all, first of all, there's a lot of Japanese games. Second of all, some of the soundtracks might be kind of out of these. I, I, I didn't check all 1,500, but if you're just getting a cheap hard drive and you want to play the games, you know, there you go. Is it perfect? And, you know, like the original? Maybe not. So that's up to you about how you feel about the PlayStation compressed games. PS2, 125 games. That's quite a collection here. They all worked. I tested them. No issues whatsoever. Um, they load. The only issue you're going to find is if you just don't have a very powerful computer, they will lag, right? It's a, bit, a little bit more of a cumbersome uh, system as far as uh, horsepower that's needed. PSP, 31 games, so not that many games, they work. Uh, there's a lot of settings you can change in PSP as far as advanced system options here. So keep that in mind when you're playing PSP. There's a lot of options there to make it, optimize it, make it work to your um, your setup, whatever you're running this on. PSP is only one game, I played it, Raymond Origins. Cool little game, a lot of customization, a lot of cool sounds, a lot of cool you know uh, visuals. I, I dig it, but um, that's the only PS3 game. And uh, there you are. That's uh, just about it for the two terabyte build, which is um, pretty compelling as far as the price or performance of what you get. And uh, you can put this in our arcade cabinet, whatever you want to do. And uh, it's kind of a little, little cool system there. What is this? This is a the little, little baby brother or sister to the two terabyte build. This is a 500 gigabyte build. All right, so this is rocking. 48,000 games, which is basically as many games as the two terabyte. That's because they're stuffing a ton of games like into here. You can barely see it on your screen here, but 3,000 CPC 464 games. Amstrad only 25. So anyways, these older systems are gonna be stuffing a lot more. MAME set looks just about the same. So if you just want those arcade games, like save some money and just buy this little cheaper one uh, of it. And uh, it's just like the last build. You can you know hit select on your controller, find a particular game hit select on your controller and go to advanced system settings here and go ahead and change the emulator or any kind of video modes um, if a game's not working this is a good place to start and just make sure that all the settings are correct for that particular title and um, you know that's that's just about it so all the Ataris all the Jaguar 
So like this is gonna have all your older 1980 systems and 1990 systems. It's gonna just be loaded with that stuff. So now MS DOS. So let's check this out really quick. MS DOS. Only one game. Okay. <laughs> I thought that maybe they'd have a different. So both of these builds do not have good MS DOS games for Windows. One game is a bit the same game, which was uh, Plants vs Zombies. Oh, Gladius. Oh, that's MSX. Games for Windows. Plants vs Zombies. Okay, same there. Game and Watch games, and then when it comes to Nintendo, yep, you have the same collection. Whoa, that's a massive Super Nintendo collection. I was saying earlier about the other Super Nintendo collection that was just so clean. So, so, so clean. This one is just everything. Blah, just, just thrown up on you. All the stuff. Um, but it has all the hacks, all the Japanese Super Nintendo games, uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, US as well. Super Game Boy, a thousand games, Jesus. Virtual Boy. N64, 457, so that's going to be all your Nintendo 64, not surprised about that. Game Boy Color, 1,000, that's all of them. So here's where you start losing out by not buying a, the bigger hard drive. Is On a 500 terabyte drive, they can only put 15 games on here. So then you have 15 of the Nintendo GameCube games. So if you want to play Nintendo GameCube, you probably want the bigger drive because those are big games. Game Boy Advance, 1800, that's all of them. Nintendo DS, 4000, Jesus, that's all of them. Nintendo 3DS, though, here's again where you gotta kinda skimp out a little bit. There's only, um, what did that say, like over 100 compared to like a, almost 250 or 300 on the other one? I forget, but there's a lot. Um, are there video snaps on here? Yeah, so no video plays, but you could see the, the game. Oregon Trail. All right, there we go. Let's just go play that. All right, um, so 55, only 55. 3D only 38. So again, where they're kind of skimping a little bit. Uh, Doom is a, you know, these are just ports and things. You do have a Thomas Wave still. You probably have all your Sega Genesis. Sega Saturn, you got 61, probably less than the two terabyte there. Naomi, 54, compared to like 100 on the other one. And did they even have Dreamcast? Did we miss it? Did we skip Dreamcast or did they not even have it? See, so like, it's there's no Dreamcast. It's just it's just uh, Naomi, yeah. Um, and then as we get to PlayStation over here, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. As we get to PlayStation over here, it's gonna be much smaller. There's 1500 on the two terabyte, right? Down to well, less than 500. PS2 only two games from. I think the PS2 on the other one had you know close to 100. Very few PlayStation 2 games, no PS3 games, and then PSP, quite a bit fewer games as well. Crazy Taxi, do have Daxter, Mist, etc. Tomb Raider Legends. Okay, uh, back, and then back to all games. So, much smaller build, probably going to be a lot cheaper though, if that's this is all you want, like uh, from Atari. The origins of Atari up to about GameCube, PS2, just a few games up there. Then this one might be good, a little cheaper version. Otherwise, the two terabyte is going to get you that much larger collection, uh, which is um, going to take you further as far as where you want to go, especially on the newer games. Okay, there you go. All right, starting off with PlayStation 3 Rayman Origins. This is going to be the most graphically intensive game on the 2 terabyte build only. Remember, the 500 gigabyte does not come with this game. Um, and it runs good. As long as you have a pretty good computer, you're probably going to want a dedicated graphic card. But it's one game. I don't know about y'all. I probably won't be buying the system just for that. Uh, but here we are in PSP. PSP was all right. Um, some of the games have some graphical glitches in it, meaning that's, that's pretty typical. But there could be some adjustments if you go into the emulator settings. You can absolutely uh, optimize them a little bit. PS2 was running really good. I was happy with PS2 performance and everything that was working on the PlayStation 2. I had no issues whatsoever. I played uh, Midnight Club here. and I played a handful of other games and I had no issues whatsoever. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. You can hook up any controller. Um, and then you can always configure your controls. If you do it in um, if you do it in the Battlestar Linux uh home screen by hitting start on your controller you can add a second player add a first player change the controls add a bluetooth controller you could do all that stuff from the main menu there 
Um, now, just remember the big thing about this build, you know, there's two builds. Um, you're not going to get many PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1 games on the 500 gigabyte. So as I'm testing these games out, um, check, double check the game list. Hopefully there's, there'll be a link in the description and you can see exactly what's included and what's not. Um, so here we go, PlayStation, we played PS2. Overall, things are really good. Um, as far as what do I think about this build? The fact that you can get it on Amazon is a big plus, especially if you're in the US. Um, I'm not a super big fan of having to boot up into the hard drive, although, you know, it's not too bad. You just hook it up, set it up, and you can boot into it. Um, you know, it's not super squared away as far as like the sorting. You know, there's a lot of files that are missing artwork or, or game lists. There's a lot of duplicates. And that's pretty much to be expected with these hard drives. So, like I tell everyone else, there's way you could build it yourself, have it way more organized, get all the game, exact games you want. You could do all that stuff. And there's lots of videos I've posted on this and many other people have posted on it. But if you just want to get something that you just boot right up and be gaming, you know, effortlessly, then it, it's a compelling product, especially for the price. They, there's really not a huge markup on these hard drives. So. Um, the other things that come up often are, you know, these hard drives are full, filled with viruses. If you're concerned about that, just don't hook your computer up to the internet and you'll be just fine. Um, but, uh, you know, you kind of get what you pay for here. Does it do what it says it's going to do? Yeah, it, it, it does. Is it one of the best products out there? No, it, it's not. But, um, you know, it's decent. So um, check out the game list. Check out, you know, what I showed you as far as the systems. And you can see whether you like it or not. Uh, I played every system Nintendo 3DS here. We had the PlayStations. I played some GameCube, some Wii. Uh, everything seemed to be running really fine. The only thing with Wii is if you if it does crash on Wii, there's two Wii emulators. So what you want to do is hit select on your controller and change the emulate. Go to advanced emulator uh, properties and then click on the the dolphin non libretro there's two dolphins there's one with libretro and one without you're going to want to click on the regular one and then it works just fine all right and then lastly gamecube here um i didn't know that if you got i didn't know i was like do you die here if you run out of time or do you respawn but you just die you just straight up die okay um and then i wanted to play a couple arcade games here like there's a nice arcade set on here everything from mortal kombat to um, you know, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom, to this Alien game here, to um, Galaga and Dig Dug, and all your favorites. So um, you know, that's a lot of fun right there. It's just having that whole set. We even play some Altered Beast here in a second. So, anyways, another option. You know, this this might seem similar to some other options out there, but this one, the kind of the big kicker is that potentially it'll be on Amazon, which is kind of a big deal for a lot of people. Um, and then. Um, you know, it like I said, as pros and cons, I mentioned them all in the video. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We got some more stuff coming up. Um, and uh, take care.